What's up everybody, Joe from Mojo Break Gaming here. Today we've got one of the most exciting videos we've ever put out in such a long time. This is the new One Piece trading card game. This is a brand new trading card game that just dropped as of today. For everybody looking for packs or boxes, we are going to be breaking this live on our live stream on Drip and whatnot, so stay tuned. Friday is going to be the release date, and it's finally here. So here we go. We've got Romance Dawn. This is One Piece's first official booster box for the new trading card game. One of the most exciting animes if you guys have ever watched One Piece. It's in a really exciting, fun anime that's been going on here. Just wanted to go ahead and feature some of the products. And we're giving away a booster box of One Piece Romance Dawn, so stay tuned tuned for that in addition to that the starter deck starter deck one is going to be none other than luffy's uh one piece starter deck this is called straw hat crew this is a red deck this one is probably going to be the most popular deck that people are going to be playing mainly because they love the character that is featured here and it brings a pretty cool aggressive style so getting a lot of swings and building up your your power because if you have more power you can swing over the leaders and then you know hit them for more damage and knock off their life point so straw hat crew this is going to be a fun one that is the red starter deck they're pretty big worst generation is the next starter deck this is going to be the green one not sure what the green one does at this point in the video it's a brand new card game so we're gonna learn this is seven warlords of the sea this is another blue one this one i do not know because this is not featured in the tutorial app so i don't know what blue does but we will learn so there's blue and then we have purple which is animal kingdom pirates this is one of the boss monsters in this deck it's really really strong it basically gets uh it's able to delete an opponent one piece character and it just has a lot of attack on it's like 10,000 attack really really strong this deck is all about investing building and playing into the late game and popping off in the late game so let's go on and talk about the booster box so if you don't know already you get 24 packs per box and 12 cards per pack you guys do the math on how many cards you get right there <laughs> math insert right here here goes the exciting one box break right here it's finally here we're finally getting our hands on a box you guys don't know already we are a gaming shop we do uh support bandai digimon dragon ball and one piece so this is cool you get a little promotion pack right here you get one card per pack a one in six chance of getting the card you do want but without further ado we've got the new card here this one's going to be the neko mamushi the neko mamushi <laughs> Is the card name right there so this is a green card from the looks of it it's a two drop uh so you're gonna need uh, two dawn to play it on play rest one of your opponent's character with a cost of three or less so this essentially reminds me of digimon where you basically suspend your opponent's digimon essentially so this is on play suspend one of your opponent's characters there it is so we got a nice hollow box topper now we're gonna go into 24 packs these are these are pretty big boxes if you compare them to digimon boxes these are like really, really big. So they remind me of uh, MetaZoo boxes, if you guys know MetaZoo. What we do want to look for is the quality control, especially for the collectors out there. You kind of do want some good quality control. How we do. You guys know Bandai packs, they rip just like Bandai. The packs feel thicker. So anyways, here we go. We've got Alvita is going to be our first hit. This is Dawn times one. When attacking, you may trash one card in your hand. Return one of your opponent's characters with a cost of three or less back to the hand. So, so far we're seeing in blue, this bounces uh, characters back to your opponent to kind of just pop off. It's a counter plus 2,000, so that's pretty good. Two drop, 3,000 damage. And really what, you, what you're looking for is to be able to use this effect whenever it's your turn. Strong card, I think. Alvita is very strong. Um, now we have Cavendish. On play, you may add one card from your life area to your hand. This character gains Rush. So when you, add a, when you put a life back to your hand, get rush with this card which is kind of strong so red's all about being aggressive like i said and they'll do different ways to get there here goes what i like to call the option card but they're called event cards um this has a counter move where you can play one uh barack works type card with a cost of three or less from your hand so if your opponent's attacking then you can trigger this to then counter and then play something else and then you know hopefully chain effect now we've got purple this is a holy dim three costs with four thousand damage on knockout um add one card from your dawn deck and rest it so there we go so you add one card and so basically this card is all about just investing in your dawn and building up your dawn when it becomes if this one dies it's not too bad there goes otsuru right here this is a one cost three thousand so everyone every deck should have like a, a vanilla card like this just a 
still cheap card that will be able to pop off. Good for attacking your opponent's characters too. So if you eat that little cost. There goes Urashima right here. Urashima's 9,007 cost. Let me just say the quality control is pretty dang good, man. The quality control is looking good on these cards. It goes Wire. They feel so nice. I love the way they're feeling right now. Wire. We've got Barak Works. We've got Sasaki. We've got Jinbei. And feel free to pause whenever you want to like take a look at these cards here. Here goes Queen. This is going to be a hollow. Looks like a reverse hollow. We're going to have to learn what this is. On play, Don minus one. So this basically nerfs you and gets aggressive. There goes a Don card. So this is going to be for the red. And then we're going to go ahead and get the... This is an SR. Our first ever hit is going to be an SR. So there goes your first super rare right there. There goes Keenum. All right. So first pack magic. We got it. Let's go. Let's continue. All right. We're going to move a little further down the line. We just kind of wanted to introduce a little bit of the cards here. Here goes B Bengi, Pacifista, got some Commons Carrot, you've got Shinobu, you've got Scratch Apu, <laughs> you've got Mr. One Daz Bones, you've got Radical Bean, you've got Rorona Zoro, okay, so this is going to be a leader card as you see right there, so there goes our first leader card, he's a uh, 5,000 and then he gets 5 life at the start of the turn, so in case you guys don't know, that bottom card tells you how much life you do you get with the start of your turn if you're using a leader character. So similar to Dragon Ball, right? Where Dragon Ball has a leader. Here goes Nico Robin going to be your rare. And the hit's going to be another rare hit right here. This is going to be a nice hollow. Here goes another Dawn card. So every pack looks like it gets, it gets a Dawn card from the look of it. Uh, trigger rest one of your opponent's characters. So this is all about suspending your opponent. There goes another rare. Let's go to the next one here. We've got... Oladim, you've got Balami, you've got Hajrudin, you've got Ben, uh, B Bengi, <laughs> B Benji, Pacifista, there goes Wire again, Inobu, goes Scratchum Apu, you've got Koru, Komuru, <laughs> this is gonna help practice saying these cards, right? Koru, Komurasaki, Kom Komurasaki, Komurasaki, right here, uh, Kiyoshiro, oh. And we got a rare hit right here, Do Flamingo. I like that. Into the Don. Into the Ooh, that is a beautiful textured card. Is this an art? You guys, is this an all art? It's textured. If it's like Digimon, it might be an all art. There goes a super rare. It is a super rare. But it might be a super rare all art. This is gonna be king right here. This is a higher hit, y'all. Let's go. I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of the big, big hits out of the box. We're going to ultimately learn how many of these big hits you get. So far, the quality looks amazing. So if you guys are collectors and graders, boom, we might get 10 right there. We might have a PSA 10 quality card right there. That king is going to be fire. Let's go. Here goes Krieg. Here goes Green Star. Here goes Speed. Here goes Marco. Elephants. We've got Kamawa. There goes in a sh uh, in all in no rashi no rashi. It goes through a doji, basil, Gordon. We've got gecko, Moria. Put that don card at the back, and what do we got behind it? Another another double rare. There goes Jack right there. So there we go. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I am liking this quality control so far. That's one of my favorite things about this set right now. They did a great job. There goes hero hero Goro. We got Mocha, Round Table, Ocha, sorry, Kuru, uh, Kurozumi, we got Jean Bart, Kanjuro. So you guys are gonna have to forgive me with the names, man. I'm pretty bad at stuff like this. Ulti Mortar, Mr. Tubon, we've got Killer. I'm very familiar with Digimon more than I am One Piece. Uda character rare, and we've got the another super rare that goes Captain Kid. So there goes our second. Um, Green getting some love at the start of this, and Purple being all art. We might have to build a green deck, you guys. Here goes Kurozumi. Kurozumi. Higurashi. Here goes Komo Chiyo. Here goes Monet. You can be my samurai. There goes Sai. There goes Babanuki. <laughs> Penguin. Otama. Demon Face. There goes King. There goes Kozuki. Mom uh, Monosuke. And there goes Caesar Clown Rare. It's another double rare hit right there. Keep the party going. Here goes Bartolomeo. Crescent Cutlass. There goes Bao Huang. 
There goes Virgo. There goes Neko Mamushi. There goes Fukuro Kuju. There goes Shachi. We got Kurozumi Orochi. There goes Brook. There goes Thunder. Into the uh, Boa Hanuk. So there goes. Uh, there is our, fir our first blue SR right here. Boa Han. Uh, Boa Hancock right here is the name. This is a blocker. Dawn times one when attacking on block. Draw one card if you have five or less cards in your hand. Then you guys, all about getting the draws. The more cards you have, the better it is for you. Because, you know, you can obviously use those cards for defense. You can use those cards for triggers, counters, etc. So here goes Kurizumi um, Higurashi. Here goes Komachio. Here goes Monet. This is uh, so you could be my samurai. There goes Sai Penguin. There goes the card we we hit earlier, but in a hollow box topper form. So there goes the on play card. Pretty good card too. There goes Brook, Corona. There goes Queen and Nico Robin right there. Oh wait, hold on. Not all back cards are done. Wow, we got a Don um, hollow card. This is really cool. I'm going to become. Let's go, the king of the pirates. So there goes a Don. That's a special card, I would imagine. We're gonna see how many of those cards you can actually get in a in a booster box. So here we go. Here goes Smiley. This is awesome, you guys. Bartolomeo, Crescent Cutlass, Bao Huang. There goes Virgo, Gachi, Otsuru. There goes Artificial Devil Fruit Smile. We've got Kumurasaki. There goes Luffy as a leader card. Green and red. Look at them already putting a duo color, as you see right there. Green and red. You like that? That's pretty sick. There goes Punk Gibson. And there goes the Dawn. And then the hit's going to be another rare Gecko Moria. Um, so, yeah. So, what they look like, they're getting a lot of inspiration from Digimon and Dragon Ball. And kind of already speeding up the process in the card game of, like, getting duo colors and rush cards. Etc. There goes Alvita again. There goes Ken Vendish. There goes Officer Agents. There goes Urashima. There goes Wire. There goes uh, Hito Kiri. There goes Gordon. Desert Spada, there goes Jack, uh, Rare, and we've got the Rare Uta, right? Rare Pack. So keep it going, we're almost done with the first half of the box. Um, so if there's anybody that wants to know, well, how do I win one of these booster boxes? How do I get in on this giveaway? So all you have to do is a couple things here. So one, you're going to have to like the video and comment um, what your favorite color is in the one piece trading card game right now and why there goes another sr for green uh trafalgar law right there boom i'm liking green green's looking pretty strong i think that's my answer green's looking really really cool in this one i do kind of like purple but purple's more of like a like a heavy thinker kind of kind of um deck so there we'll we'll see <laughs> we'll see here goes speed oh my goodness fan service right there there goes marco there goes kawamatsu it goes, you know, uh, I can't say that one. We're going to skip that one. Mr. Two. There goes Kumurasaki. There goes Konzuki. These are Clown and Thunder Booga. Next part of the giveaways, all you got to do, go ahead and give us a follow on our Instagram and follow us on our TikTok if you guys want um, to follow us on one of those channels. That'd be appreciated. One thing that's mandatory is our uh, Discord. Join our Discord because we're going to be doing a lot of One Piece content and we're going to be doing tournaments. So if you guys want to participate in winning booster boxes for One Piece, we're going to be doing weekly tournaments for One Piece. Not this coming week, um, but the week after. So we're going to have, everybody's going to have a week to learn, week to practice. And then we're going to start kicking off our first tournament um, starting um, in like two weeks from now. Let's go Dinjiro and the Don. So yeah, we'll do giveaway. We'll do the uh, so first place will win booster boxes. Second place will get packs. Third place will get packs. We're going to have some really cool prizing for our tournament. So definitely join the Discord and be a part of the community there. And um, and let me know in the Discord that you guys are on the One Piece. Go ahead in the One Piece channel and say what's up. You guys are here joining and you guys come from uh, from the video. Let me know you guys are coming from the video. That way it would be awesome to meet you guys because ultimately we're trying to build some One Piece community. Ultimately, it's to help us out to get us better, become better players, become better collectors because we're ultimately, we're all about that. I know I'm saying ultimately, not right? Crocodile, there goes, there goes a meme right here. Vanish, this is a new card. When this card deals damage, the target card is trashed without activating its trigger. 
Dang, so basically this card's just all about like punishing them, making sure they can't counter you back. Whoa, that pack opened up so different than what I expected it to. Um, so hopefully we got a good pack. <laughs> hopefully that means it's a good thing. Let's keep going. It goes Smiley, Bartolomeo, Crescent, it goes Bao Huang, it goes Neko, it goes Fuko. Who's who? I don't know. <laughs> it goes Jinbei. It goes Don um uh, there goes Don Flamingo. Uh X Drake and sanji right here so if you guys are familiar with any of the characters obviously you guys would uh have a lot more of a bias with some of these guys than i would because i'm not an avid uh, one piece uh watcher i don't really know too much one piece but you know being part of the card game community i'm all about learning and i think that's what it's all about i'm learning the card game because a lot of people uh play like certain card games but don't know anything about the anime for example um digimon right i know a lot about the anime and the, and the digimon uh, and the card game, but um, for Dragon Ball, on the other hand, I don't know too much about Dragon Ball, and um, but I do like the card game. So, lots of different, you know, people that you're gonna get in this card game. So hopefully, it draws more people in. It's a new, fresh start for a card game. So anybody that's kind of bored of their current card game that wants to get on something new, it's always a great time to get in on a fresh start. That way, you can accumulate your knowledge. And you don't have to catch up all that much. There goes a Luffy SR. There he is. Of course you're going to have Luffy as an SR in this set. We ended up just pulling it. There goes Monkey D. Luffy. Woo. All right. This is actually going to be a two drop 3000. And Dawn times two. This character cannot be knocked out by battle. Uh, by by battle. Uh, in battle by strike attribute characters. Activate main once per turn. Give this character up to two rested Dawn. That's really, really strong. You can get him up to like. 5,000 DP on your turn. That's really, really sick. There goes our first red super rare being the Luffy. So let's go again. There goes Carrot. Beautiful card. There goes Krieg. Green. I love the way these cards are looking. So nice, simple, effective. I love it. Card quality. Again, I'm saying it so many times because it's so good. There goes Crocodile Alternative Art. That's got to be one. There it is, a Crocodile Leader card, and it's nice and textured right there. Bam. That is huge. So there goes our second hit out of the box. It's going to be Crocodile for all of our blue and purple. It's blue and purple. Look at that. That's a really nice color combo, blue and purple. So there's only four colors in this one, red, purple, blue, and green so far. There's no yellows and other colors, so that's interesting. Unless they're going to introduce the other colors later on, I don't know. But um, we'll have to see. Here goes Treff uh, Treffle Guard Law. Here goes Usopp and Bipu. Bipu, Bipu. Sorry if I'm butchering the names again. But yeah, so again, to recap on how to enter in this giveaway for box. One, like the video. Comment your favorite color and why do you think it'll be your favorite color? Or why is it your favorite color if you're already currently playing? Um, and then hop, go ahead and give us a follow on our Instagram. Give us a follow on our TikTok because we'll be making reels. We'll be making updates. We'll be making content all about the One Piece card game. And definitely, definitely give us a... And then well, something you got to do is join the Discord and let us know in the One Piece Discord tab that you have joined. And you guys are, you know, ready for One Piece. So, and then stay tuned. You know, that's all going to come in effect because we're going to be doing tournaments. We're going to be doing announcements. We're going to be heavily supporting this trading card game right here so there goes nami and ninju uh we got about three more packs here let's see if we can get another alternative art maybe we can get three in a box out and i just don't know about that but usually even dragon ball and digimon on average for a core set you're getting about two on holiday sets or side sets like ex for example you get about three or four there goes king sr all right so we got the king all art and then there goes the king sr now some cards uh some decks go very aggro on you right and if you got luffy for example that's a two drop card so it's uh purple is going to be trying to like counter what the whole red deck is going to try to do so i think that's why they put them in the tutorial um there goes jinbei rare right there but again you need cards from the booster box which is why we've got them here goes crescent cutlass here we go and let's go ahead and finish on our last pack magic. Can we get another SR? Or have we pulled them all? Let's figure this out. Crescent, Bao, Virgo, Sheep's Horn, Caribou, Buku, Dachi, Artificial Devil, Perona, Izo, Ulti, and Bartholomew right there. 
Puma right there. So there goes a blocker and just a double rare pack right there. So that's going to go ahead and finish the booster box break. So again, so you guys know, two hits per box. Like we're getting the King Super Rare Alternative Art and the Leader Alternative Art. Real quick, let's go ahead and recap what our SRs are. King SR, Monkey Luffy, Crocodile, got Law, got Hancock, Captain Kid, and Inemon. That's three, four, five, six, seven SRs right there. Two all arts, so nine out of the 24 packs are going to be hits. Thank you guys for watching again. Um, I'm excited for One Piece. Let me know in the comment section who also is excited for this. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you pirates later. Peace.